Hello, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Ron, and thank you for stopping by. In this video, I want to share with you some Skydio 2 4K footage I took just the other day. Now, it's a bit overcast, a little cloudy, and be quite honest, it was brutally cold, so not the best day to be shooting 4K. I would prefer if it was actually sunny, so just take that into consideration. In this video, I'll show you what to expect when shooting video in 4K. Specifically, this video was recorded at 3840 by 2160 and 24 frames per second. Now the Skydio 2 can also record 4K at 30, 48, and 60 frame per second, but I prefer to use 24 frame per second. It's just my preference. And some quick housekeeping items before we jump into the video, because if you're new to video editing with your drone in 4K, there's just a few things that I wanted you to make sure that you understand to get the most out of your videos. First, just because you record a video at 4K, it won't always mean others are viewing the video in 4K. Here's what I mean by this. You wanna ensure that you're exporting your final videos using YouTube's guidelines for 4K footage. The YouTube guidelines are here and I'm going to also leave some links below so you can check those out. The video I'm going to share with you was also exported using a bit rate of 35 to 45 megabit per second for standard dynamic range or SDR. Specifically I set the target bit rate to 35 megabit per second and the max bit rate the 45 megabit per second within the Adobe Premiere Pro file export settings. But if I was shooting in high dynamic range or HDR, the suggested bit rate by YouTube would be 44 to 56 megabit per second. And that's specifically for 24, 25, or 30 frame per second. You can toggle HDR on or off within the camera settings of the companion app as well. Second, the person watching the video needs the, a web browser that can support VP9. VP9 is Google's latest standard for video compression. You can actually see the video compression of a video by simply right-clicking anywhere inside the video in YouTube, as I'm showing here. You see an option for stats for nerds. Yep, that's what it says. And you can click that to see actual, the actual uh, compression codec for any video uploaded to YouTube. And third, the user needs a high-speed internet connection. You can see this yourself by clicking on the gear icon here, YouTube, within YouTube, and make sure that the quality setting is 2160 for 4K. Anything other than 4K could result in a lesser video resolution and obviously watching experience for the user. I mention all this because a video shot in 4K isn't always being watched in 4K. Sorry, I didn't mean to ramble on, but all these factors if they don't come together, then viewers aren't able to watch your video in the highest video quality, which it was actually shot. Okay, let me just run the clip. Got me? All right, welcome back to the channel. We're down at the beach. I hope you guys appreciate this video. It's pretty cold out here and about 10 degrees colder uh, down at the beach than probably anywhere else in New Jersey. So I'm gonna take a little been down this uh, path and uh, hopefully you guys can uh, appreciate some of this video. I just want to test out some different environments with the Skydio 2 and uh, right now I've got it on tracking and one of the things I want to do is uh, look at some of these telemetry settings so more about that in a minute. Got a pretty good path down through here. Uh, pretty pretty cold day, so again, I'm trying to pick a day when there's not really any people out here. And as soon as I see any people, I'm gonna push the Skydio over toward the beach side, over to my right, uh, so it's out of the way of everybody. But uh, just want to give you an idea of what uh, you can expect out of the Skydio 2. And remember. If you're doing a screen recording, not to close your screen.
So I got it. Uh, I wish I could. I wish I could push the Skydio over to my other side, and you could get a beach view. Um, but I'm a little nervous to do that. There's some light poles and some a lot of obstacles on my left hand side. I'm not sure I'm comfortable pushing it over there on my. You know, I've only had the Skydio for a few weeks now, and uh, I prefer not to crash this thing. It's a thousand dollar drone. Um, I'd like to give you guys, like I said, a shot of the beach if I could. Uh, maybe I'll try that. I just kind of want to play around with it a little bit before I <laughs> before I do any damage to this thing. Actually, I got some new props in earlier today. Um, I want to say for two extra sets of you know props, uh, it was fifty some dollars. A little pricey. You know, I'd like to see the price come down a little bit. Um, and you can only order them through Skydio, but uh, I did get some spare props in, which is nice to have. And uh, you can see Skydio is doing a pretty good job tracking me down. You know, this is nice open area. Like I said, I'd like to push the Skydio over to the other side, but there's a lot of light poles and stuff, and should avoid them, but it's a little, it's a little risky. Uh, comes the gazebo coming up here. No problem around the gazebo. And I left my case and everything back on a bench. And my wife, Melissa, is with me today. She has my car keys, so I couldn't put that stuff in the car right yet. All right, let's swing around real quick here. Let's see if I can, let's see if I can move the Skydio Try to keep it a little closer to me. I'm gonna push. I'm gonna put it behind me. Uh, so now, when now I'm going into the wind, so I apologize. It's gonna be a lot windier going this way. Done a pretty nice job in through here. Man, my hands are freezing. It is cold out here. Uh, if I can get this. Heading right into the wind, it's a little rough. There you go, it's a little bit of a shot of the beach. I mean, there's poles all over the place here, so it's doing a pretty good job avoiding the poles.
Is it cold? It's my lovely wife, Melissa. Holy smokes, it is freezing out here. I'm a little lower. Like low so the sand is. I can't really get too low because it's got the, the setting I got on right now. Yeah, I'm not going to get anything real good because it's nice to blow. Beautiful out, but it's freaking freezing. So it was a nice little run. Hopefully we got some beach shots. It's still tracking me. It's a nice little picture in the... I got the audio going. If you want to say hello. It's freezing. What Look is my it, hands. Like oh. I have hand warmers. All right, we got to cut here. I think we might head over somewhere else. Yeah, let's go over to maybe Point Pleasant. Let me bring this sucker down. Now, I've still got a ton of additional testing I want to do with the Scotty O2. I have some ND filters I haven't played with yet, but I'm hoping the weather cooperates and I can get some of that footage up for you guys real soon as well. Now, the actual ND filters that I want to test are these Polar Pro Cinema Series ND filters. And I haven't, like I said, I haven't tested them yet. These are actually really nice filters and I'm going to put a complete video together in the near future uh, regarding these and some test footage as well. So um, stay tuned for that. Now, the video I put up today wasn't using any ND filters. So I just want to be clear on that. And that's really it. If you got any value out of this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. It's always appreciated. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, ring that bell for future video notifications. So until next time, take care, happy flying. And remember, in 2020, we got this.